Hello, it's Tim and Lorraine from Fair Play Now. So, we've just arrived, haven't we? Well, I say just, we've been here a couple of hours at the Jam for Freedom Festival. So, <laughs> we set up the tent first of all, had a cup of coffee there, and just been wandering around. And we found a nice quiet spot in the woods here to uh, uh, make a video. But yeah, there's all sorts of stuff going on. There's the uh, guys and girls from Hope Sussex, uh, World Council for Health. Uh, they've got the little beach bit, which is very nice. We might go for a paddle uh, later on in the weekend, even if it's raining. <laughs> uh, we're going to, uh, uh, well, there's some stalls here in the woods, which uh, there's a massage thing as well. So there he is, I was quite excited yeah, about that. Yeah. Love a good massage. That's it. So uh, there's a, quite a lot going on. And, um, but and some th of them are still setting up, I think. I think there's more. Yeah, there's more yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, to so. be set up. Yeah, yeah. It's early days. Early days. Yeah, I think, I think Thursday today is just uh, kind of a set up, then chill out a little bit. There's a few acts uh, playing on the main stage there. Uh, but I think tomorrow is going to be when it starts properly. Yeah. Uh, probably when a lot of people, a lot more people, will be here. It's quite sparse at the moment. There's a few people yeah. here, and there's quite a lot in the camping field, isn't there? Yeah. So, uh, yeah. I just noticed though there was more people heading that way as we were coming over here. So. Oh right. So, yeah. There's okay. more people setting up. Yeah. Because at the yeah. moment there's space, but I think it's going to be quite quite a lot of us there which would be good yeah yeah but uh, yeah it's going to be an entire weekend in the presence of like-minded souls and there's going to be some great music yeah. some great speakers some comedians uh, yeah it's going to be epic really and we've got our tent uh, sorted out yeah. um, but what was the uh, thing that we forgot very annoying uh, and we've been looking at it from weeks because we left it downstairs so that we wouldn't forget it and then we moved it so we wouldn't forget it and we forgot the camping light yeah we've got a nice proper little camping light it's like a really light. bright bright light isn't it yeah it lights the tent up really nicely uh, at night yeah, yeah. so we're just going to have to rely on our um, sort of torches you know, our, our the, phones uh, yeah, yeah it's not it's ideal like, is it well I've got this light here that's on the uh, camera I might be able to use that a bit as well yeah but, oh, so annoyed though because Very annoyed. like we were saying we put stuff near to the light so we wouldn't forget it yeah and then forgot it that's it yeah yeah we could idiots. do a bit of a yeah we are idiots <laughs> yeah so we've just been having a quite a long conversation with uh, the guy camping next to us uh, here at uh, uh, the Jam for Freedom we're right in the middle of tent city here I'll do a little shot uh, in a minute but He's right next door and he gave me a cup of red wine so he, he can't be bad at all can oh, he really? and and he's subscribed to your channel so he yeah definitely isn't, yeah definitely isn't, isn't bad yeah, yeah so uh, thank you very much for the uh, wine and the conversation but uh, he was saying something very interesting because there's a lot of younger people here and when we've been to things like stand in the park and some of the other events I've been to uh, even a lot of the marches, uh, I would say the average age of people uh, is about 60 years old and there's not really many people beyond sort of 15 years either side of that and apparently he was also saying that the average age of UK Column News subscribers is 60 years old as well which is really interesting and we, we tend to think well where's all the younger people but he was saying he was talking to a couple of young lads, 26 year olds, and they were saying, well, do you, do you watch this, do you watch that? And he was like, no. And then he was saying, well, do you watch this, do you watch that? And they were saying no. But they use their sources of information to be here at the jam, so obviously awake people. And we were just kind of conjecturing that there's plenty of younger people out there who are awake who knows what's going on but they just get their information from different, place. different places than we do yeah. so I thought that was really really interesting so they are out there they are getting information and yeah if you are a younger person where, where do you tend to get your information from maybe I can sort of check out those channels and uh, 
you know, see where the younger people are at, and then I can sort of pass on that information to uh, other people who are watch who watch me. So yeah, yeah, yeah I, I, I thought I thought that was very very interesting. Yeah, so, yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, we've had a few chats. Had a we're just set, settled in here. We're gonna go down to the tent and uh, grab a bit of food there. You know, like the food and drink tent. Uh, grab some food soon, won't we? Yeah. And then. It's really just been a kind of set up and just chilling chill out, out day. and just speaking to a few people and yeah, yeah, yeah. it's been nice. Very, very friendly here. Obviously everybody's like minded and it's just nice to be able to talk to people without that sense of you're walking in the middle of a, a minefield, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But uh, anyway, um, we'll be back tomorrow and over the course of the weekend with more Jam for Freedom videos. But as an intro for today, I'm uh, going to leave it and uh, probably finish off just with a few shots around that I've taken just to give you a bit of a flavour of the place. So it's uh, Tim and Lorraine from Fair Play Now. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. Oh, hello, all right.